Hi, this is Harish here. Welcome to DB2 LUW Tips and Tricks video tutorial part 151. In this video tutorial, the tip that I want to provide is like this is more of a demonstration. I want to demonstrate the power of compound SQL. The scripts that I'm using, the data files that I'm using are available for free download at db2luwacademy.blogspot.com. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash db2luw academy. This is the problem scenario and the solution. The problem scenario is like this is more of a demonstration video uh, demonstrating the power of compound SQL. Uh, at least when I was uh, starting my DB2 activities like that, like there used to be like a very famous question, like even in the forums and all these things, they used to ask the question, like if I want to do a bulk update or bulk delete, like that table is having like maybe a billion rows. So you just want to delete a million rows from them like that or 100,000, 200,000 rows, like, which is really huge. So you can't run like a single update query because it will it will throw transaction log full error like that. So how do you do that? So for this, like they used to say, like we need to write a strut procedure because we need those procedural logic, right? Wherein like I can loop through, like open the cursor, delete and loop, loop. Like I need to have all those um, uh, statements with me, right? Like all those fun features or functionalities which is there uh, in a stored procedure. And immediately we jump to conclusion like, yeah, we need to write a stored procedure for it, but it is not the case. So there is something called as compound SQL. And if you if you need to learn more about compound SQL, please refer the knowledge center documentation for further reading. So there is inline the compound SQLs and there is compiled compound SQLs and there is stored procedure. Stored procedure uses, it. I think it, stored procedure can use both com inline compound SQL and uh, compiled compound SQL. Uh, together, so I, I I'm not hundred percent sure, but I think it it should be it should be fairly possible. Like um, so the thing is, you don't need stored procedure to to do that. You don't need to create objects uh, to do that. You can do that just by using like an SQL. Like it's a single, even though it is a compound statement, it is still considered as a single SQL, which is done like a single compilation kind of a thing. So I don't know internally whether it is creating some internal stored procedure object or something like that in memory, but I'm not hundred percent sure. But it gives you the ability to open cursors, loop through the cursor, like record by record, you can execute various statements. Uh, obviously there'll be restrictions, like um, certain statements you cannot execute maybe, but that that is like most, most likely most of the statements are your common use case scenarios are covered. And you get like the looping, the conditional um, flow, the procedural flow controls are available. Um, error handling is available. A lot of things are available in compound SQL. So, um, so without going, uh, without further delay, so let me go to the demonstration part. So here I have, uh, like I have already started the instance, I have connected to the database and uh, let me look at, I'll show you, already I think I have connected to the database and I have run the workers.sql. So if you look at the workers.sql, so it is just a, it just creates a table, workers with staff ID, name, salary, net sale, like all those things, okay. And uh, it creates like a, one is index BIDX1 and BIDX2 and BIDX3. So it creates three indexes on those tables. <clears throat> okay, this is just a sample table. Like it, it, it just applies to any any table, okay? So you can, I, I think I have already done all those things. So, and I have also loaded uh, data, which is like, you can see the number of records. Probably I'll just show you that. Okay, um, paste, okay. There you go, it should have about uh, 2.5 million. I think it's 2.5 million, yeah. Um, so this many thousand, so this many million. So yeah, 2.5 million records are there. So if I want to run some delete or update like for every 100,000, 20,000 like that, like if you want to go through that logic, right? So instead of creating a stored procedure, you can create like a file compound.sql, which likes have this begin and end. So I have declared the staff ID. I have declared a loop ID. The loop ID is basically for like, this is the logic for the loop ID. So every thousand, um, like uh, this is inside a loop. So whenever, like, I think every thousand records, it will give you a commit. Like in the thousand loop, it will give you a commit. Thousandth uh, loop, it will give you a commit. It will issue a commit. And what you need to do is declare a cursor with withhold. This is important because if you commit, the uh, cursor will get closed. So you have to say with cold, sorry, with hold so that the commit won't close the cursor and you have to select like the table and some range. Okay. And for update, 
and this is like open the cursor and you fetch some value this fetch is like basically to move the cursor pointer to the actual row and then you can delete from workers where current of cursor and you can also run i think update statements also you can run insert statements also you can do various lot of things okay so that's what i told so just look for the um, knowledge center documentation as to like so you have the looping you have you can run delete statements there is conditional flow there is commit uh, so by the way of commit you you are not actually uh, taking up a lot of transactional log space so all these advantages are there and this is like you don't need an object to be created on the stored like like a stored procedure object you can just run it as a sql file so this is like compound sql and the way i run that sql is i'm going to show you okay so um so how do i run that sql it's very simple like like just like any sql right db2 it doesn't make sense to give plus c or minus c because uh, in any case the, the that sql is getting commit uh, it's committing every now and then right so so td at the rate hyphen vf compound dot sql that's it it's very simple the sql i have showed you so i think it should delete roughly about 20000 no i don't know <laughs> forgot actually so um so what is that compound sql we'll just go look at it again okay uh, 20,000 decisions. So 40,000 and odd, 40,001 or 40,002 records. It should it should delete 40,001 or 40,002 records. Okay. So uh, let's uh, let's uh, put that into action. So let me just run that. And it will not take up a lot of transactional log space. Like I should get see it come and it is very fast also at the same time. So if you run the same query again, uh, the count. So definitely it has uh, reduced i think it is like 40001 mm, if you look at this number yeah it's 60000 i think it is 40001 that way it will become 2.5 million yeah it has deleted 40001 records on on the first go is very simple right and you this is like an sql okay so you don't have a stored procedure or anything. This is the power of Compound SQL. So that that's it in this video tutorial. And this was the most uh, famous question when I started learning DB2. This was the most famous thing to do. Like, I, I don't know, like um, uh, in a lot of forums or something frequently, we, we could say the most frequently asked question uh, when I, at least when I was starting the DB2 uh, was this question, like how do you loop through? But everybody were looking into stored procedures, but without stored procedures, you can do this. That's that's what I was, uh, uh, that's, that's the uh, idea of this tutorial. Hope this information was useful to you. Thanks for watching the video. Please subscribe to my channel, youtube.com slash db2lew academy. See you in the next video. Until then, bye-bye.